Deus Vault, my fellow gamers. I'm here again. I'm getting stuff in um, pretty regularly. Here, I got in something, and I just ripped open the envelope thinking it was going to be something else. So I didn't um, really get a good look at anything. Now, I ordered on eBay a horde of skeletons that were pre-owned. Now, there were 40 bases, 40 models. And they were pre-assembled, some of them were pre-painted pre and pre-primed and all this stuff. I don't know uh, what type of paint jobs, not really, you gotta look at them uh, up close to find out what type of cleaning jobs and all this stuff. So I'm thinking that this is going to be a bit of work, but it was only 20 bucks entirely shipping and everything for a horde of skeletons. So it's 40 guys, 20 bucks, and uh, you know, I mean, it fills out ranks. It gives me 80 skeletons. So let's see what we get. Okay. All right. So not packaged the best. And it came in, I mean, in truth, it was a, you know, padded envelope. Okay. But yeah, not the best. I guess for the 40. Uh, well, for $20, you can't expect the best wrap rod. Now, these are plastic, so I think, hopefully, <clears throat> they're going to be an okay nick. Oh, get, get out, bro. Okay. All right, so. All right, that looks like it's a magnet or something shoved in there. We can test. Yes. Okay. It's a magnet. Ooh, okay. So just weird. It doesn't look like all the bases have that. It looks like some of them do. Very interesting. A uh, little neoprene magnet there. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Which he cut the base into. Honestly, they make very thin neoprene magnets that you can just drill a hole right in the neoprene magnet in especially if you use a metal tray on the bottom of your base all of them will go pretty good now this guy you know he's looking pretty undead pretty undead the paint job not all that bueno uh, but you know I, I don't know uh, what skill level this dude has <clears throat> uh, as far as mold lines they are totally still here. Uh, you can see that giant one on his skull going straight up. Uh, so, totally there. Okay, but you know what? It's a skeleton on a base. That's legit for uh, Kings of War. Uh, paint job is a little, little thick. You totally tell that mold line right there. So I do have to clean all these models while they're fully assembled. A little bit of a chore. Now let me put my glasses back on so that we can look at what we've got. No neoprene magnet on that guy. Okay, not bad. All right, so let me see. Probably, oh, now see this clump here? They're all magnetized. Uh, with this very unusual square magnet, these may have to come out. Uh, I'll fill this in with putty just to square it back up. But, uh, yeah, those magnets might come in handy. You know, I like to magnetize stuff. Ah, homeboy. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, instead of a spear or whatnot, he's holding the tombstone from the Revenant kit. So, very cool. Okay, that's a uh, that's different dude. It's like, you know, Undead Moses with the Ten Commandments. Hey, check it out. Uh, that's you know, pretty neat, pretty neat. Uh, this guy's seen better days. Good thing I do have extra bits and whatnot, so we're going to take this guy and put him off to the side. He needs repairs. <clears throat> so, actually, the ones that are just primed, it's funny because this is actually the same color that I'm priming my guys with. Okay, the little broken spear half, so very good. Alright, this dude, we're going to put him off to the side. We'll get the whole models first, and I'll rank them up by fives. Ah. All right, 
that dude's okay his head is put on backwards we're gonna have to solve that we're gonna have to uh, do something different about that maybe this the builder of these models was very whimsical uh, <clears throat> so we'll we'll deal with that uh, later i'll just uh go with the usable guys here uh well the usable like straight out of the ziploc bag that type of a deal okay it's always interesting to see the damage and all that stuff. Um, they're very, you know, a lot of these guys have uh, very fiddly parts. Uh, very thin pieces. All right. There's a spam in there. Oh, that's interesting. This dude, he's got a, a scythe and a bell. So the bell part definitely does come with the kit. The scythe does not though, so that's interesting. So I'm probably getting some pieces here a bit different from, uh, you know, it's nice. You know, I get a little variation to the skeletons um, with this unit. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's already 15 dudes that are uniform, basically. Okay, that dude doesn't have a spear, but I'm sure the spear's there. Homegirl here with a hatchet head. And once again, the head is on backwards. Uh, so, yeah, some work will need to be done with that guy. I'll just put that there. Okay, no work needed to be done with him. <clears throat> uh, I like the, the lump of models with the magnets. It's funny. Okay, here, this is a good one, a nice one to have, a skeleton with the tombstone coming out of the earth. Um, this is one that I haven't built yet because I haven't touched my revenants yet. So this is an excellent little model. I really like that guy. Okay, uh, <clears throat> so dude's popped off of his base. No big deal, got a base there. Of course, the bases I'll trim up and I'm not too. These things are really catching on my my mat. So, all right. Uh, uh, man, these magnets. <clears throat> all right, we got a dude. At least his head's on straight. A bunch of the hatchet heads, which is interesting because uh, that's a that's a single bit that you get. Um, okay, that guy has no head. This dude's, you know, he's nice. Just the spinal cord and entrails. Um, we'll see if we can find his base later on. Hmm. So it looks like we're missing bases. <clears throat> okay, it's nice. I do have a, a painted dude with his tombstone coming out of the earth. So very nice little models that, you know, these are bit models that come in the Revenant uh, sprue. So these are, you know, one per sprue, and each sprue is like $20. So nice to have this. And I'll definitely be cleaning this up and fixing him up <clears throat> uh, so let me see yeah I'm definitely missing bases I think all right there's like a musician there and actually this dude unless the the tip broke he did the horn just like I did where yeah he Cut that little nib off and yeah, just did the horn like that. So excellent. It's good to, to have a like-minded individual. So let's see. Uh, we'll get these painted guys that have all their equipment. This dude's rocking uh, the dwarf head. Yep, he's holding the dwarf head. Very nice. And this guy, I guess he he chopped his own head and is walking around headless. I, I could probably leave this dude be. He's pretty cool. Uh, so let us see here. Okay, interesting. This guy here is holding out his own head. Okay, I could probably let that slide. A little whimsy. It's fine. Ugh, sorry for the yawns. All right, uh, what are we looking at here? Ah, uh, got some bits, let me see, so. Uh, 
15, 19, uh, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, uh, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So it's 40 models with bases. And what's interesting is I've got other models with no bases. So it brings it slightly over 40. Uh, and, you know, the, some of these are, are whole models that don't have the bases. Like I, I count him as a whole model. Um, you know, so I've got, I've got four of those. Just the spinal columns with legs. Uh, okay, this guy's a, a model as well. He just broke. Uh, I've got some. Uh, I've got standards and you know, three more spears, one cape, and a scythe piece. But what's good is that since I'm building my undead uh, forces now I have all the bits so I can complete this out so it's slightly over 40 models and a good chunk of them are right here pretty pristine uh, pretty nice I do have two of these little skeleton guys with their tombstones so these are really nice bits for the skeleton unit so I think you know honestly it's $20 well spent uh, do I have to come clean these guys yes I've got work to do uh, you see there's uh, a sprue nub still on that shield. So they still need to be cleaned of mold lines. But, uh, you know, for the most part, I have models here that can be can be worked on, fixed up, and, you know, that makes a, a little bit over 80 skeletons for me. So nothing but a win there. Very, very nice. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, if you guys see models on eBay... Um, you know, you sometimes take a chance on them. You know, some of them are, are garbage, you know, and if you don't want to put the work into them, then it's not worth it. Uh, but I would suggest like older metal models, definitely um, take a chance on those because you can clean them up very easy with a lot of the more aggressive um, solvents out there. Here, uh, with these being plastic, I would use Simple Green. Um, they work the best. And then, of course, I have to clean all the models anyway, so that means that I have to take a lot of the paint surfaces off, you know, just going through with, with cleaning it. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of dead stuff, which I'm happy about. This adds a good shot in the arm to my army. Um, it's not what, you know, uh, competitive people use. They don't use skeletons, they would rather use zombies. But I find that with rules, they're subject to change. And, I mean, if you're playing Undead anyway, you want the skeletons. So, anyway, I hope you guys like this video. It's pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to film another unboxing here coming up very shortly. So, you guys take it easy. Carry a laser.